Hey guys, Justin here from the Bill Corps Wellness Center, back at you with another daily workout. <clears throat> Before I get started, just a quick disclaimer, this is for Bill Corps Wellness Center members and employees of Molson Corps. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get into the format for today's workout. Today's workout is a Tabata-based workout, which basically means you're doing high-intensity intervals of 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest times eight. The way this workout specifically is programmed is you've got two different exercises that you're doing alternating for those eight rounds. So you've got an A exercise that you're doing for the first 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds, then you've got your B exercise that you're going doing for 20 seconds, and then you're resting another 10. You're bouncing back and forth between A and B until you get eight rounds of that done, and then you're taking at least a minute to rest. Um, a half hour workout works out to uh, six of these sets with one minute in between. Of course, take more than a minute if you need it, but keep in mind it is a high intensity based workout, so the less rest you can take between round or between sets, the better. Um, having said that, as far as how you're going to time your sets, um, I suggest you go on Google and search Tabata Timer. Any link, there's tons of free links um, that'll allow you to do that 20, 10 times 8. Um, you can also search on either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, um, and there's plenty of free timer, Tabata timers on there as well. So once you've got your timer set and you're ready to get going, your first set, you're, you're going to start with your first exercise, which is a wrestler squat or if the wrestler squat is too hard um, or maybe bothers your knees, you can switch over to a uh, pulse squat. So let me show you the wrestler squat first. You're starting on your knees. Make sure you've got some padding underneath or carpet or something like that. And then we're stepping up and staying low and then back down. Just as quickly as you can. <clears throat> Keep in mind what knee or leg you start coming up off of, and then the next time around, make sure you're coming up starting with the other leg. Remember to stay low though, that's the name of the game, keep that tension on the quads. <clears throat> if that's too difficult or hard on the knees because of the kneeling position, you can also do pulse squats where you're sinking down to 90, and then you're coming up and down the whole 20 seconds. So that's your A exercise, and then your B exercise is hand release push-ups with a four second lower. So you're here in push-up position, we're going one, two, three, four on the way down, picking our hands up, and then pressing back up. One, two, three, four, picking the hands up, and then pressing back up. Make sure you've got tight glutes, tight core when you're doing those push-ups. If you need to, you can do the exact same movement from the knees to make it a little easier. <clears throat> Once you've got those hand release push-ups done, you're bouncing back and forth. So that's your first set. Then set number two is a single leg Romanian deadlift. So knee is soft, we're coming down, arms can be out for balance and then back up. <clears throat> So driving those hips back, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. You're going to do all same leg for 20 seconds, and then your next time around, you'll do the other leg. If your balance isn't feeling too great today, or if you decided to drink a beer before the workout, and your balance isn't too great, you can always take a split stance, soften that knee up, drive it back, and then forward. Okay. So that's your A exercise for set two. Your B exercise for set two is a pike or down dog push up, so this is a shoulder press essentially. So we're gonna go down dog, and then we're pressing head towards the floor. If that's too tough for you, you can also do what we call down dog scapular presses. So I'm basically just letting my shoulder blades come down, and then press them back up. Notice with that one, if you opt for this, Elbows are staying straight, all the motions in my shoulders and my shoulder blades. <clears throat> Once you've bounced back and forth and done your four minutes there, set number three, 
All right, I got a cheat here. Set number three is a single leg glute bridge <clears throat> changeover. So you're gonna be here, we're up, we're kicking out, two seconds, kicking out, two seconds, squeezing those glutes and driving through the heel, okay? Alternatively, if that's too difficult, you can opt for marching. So you're not holding it as long. <clears throat> it's important that you're focused on even hips here. So when you've got one kicked out, don't let it drop. All right, that's your A exercise. Your B exercise is on your stomach. And we're doing Superman waves. So we're extending through the hips first by squeezing the glutes. Uh, then we've got our arms up, head relaxed towards the floor, and uh, then we are going down and up, trying to get as much extension through the back as possible. Once you bounce back and forth, four of each of those, you're moving on to the next set, which is a lateral lunge to a curtsy lunge. So you're going to take a step out, keeping the toe straight for that lateral lunge, and then I'm coming up and crossing behind for the curtsy. So it's lateral to curtsy, same leg, and so you're doing a lateral lunge on the right, and then curtsy on the left for 20 seconds, and then your next time around, you'll do the other way, which would be left, and then curtsy on the right leg. So that's your A exercise. For set four, your B exercise are scapular rows. So again, you're gonna lay on your back. <clears throat> Arms are about 60 degrees away from the body. And we are pressing up through our elbows. So push, back down, push, back down. Alternatively, you could also hop on a wall and do the same exercise on the wall. It's a little easier doing it this way. You got less body weight. So that's two options there for those scapular rows. Then moving on to step five, you've got a bear crawl to a low reverse jog. So you're gonna go forward, keeping your butt low, bear crawl, maybe about 10, 10 yards or so, and uh, then you're staying low and jogging back. So it's bear crawl, keeping the butt low, stand up, low jog back, keeping your chest up. Then your B exercise for set five is a core exercise. We're going dead bug. So you've got your hand, your arms and your legs up. We're going opposite arm and leg extending but not resting on the floor and I'm staying tight here okay it's really important that you maintain that core brace as you're doing this otherwise you're just not really gonna feel it alternate legs here for the 20 seconds about a two second hold as you do those dead bugs <clears throat> once you flip back and forth with those two exercises for four rounds each You've got one more set, which is set six. A exercise, our single leg box slash bench slash chair squats. So it really doesn't matter what you have. You just need something that you can sit down on single leg. So I'm softening my knee up. I'm dropping back. And then I'm coming up. Try not to put all your weight through the bench, if you can't imagine there's an egg on it and you don't want to crack the egg. You're doing one leg for 20 seconds. When you come back around, you're doing the other leg for 20 seconds, okay? If that's too difficult, you can also do like an 80-20, so 80% of my body weight on one leg, stagger stance, and then I can do the same thing here. Your B exercise and the final exercise for set six and the workout in general is alternating plank toe tap to reach out. 
So you're going to be in a high plank push-up position. We're going to pike. So that's pushing my hips up. Tap the toe. I then come out and reach. Tap the toe. Come out and reach. If this is difficult, spread the legs. Try it with a wider stance. Gives you a little more balance. Same thing. Reach. Keeping the core tight. <clears throat> then you can also regress it to the floor. So I can go from the knees, reach up, tap, reach out, alternate, tap, reach out. <clears throat> so you've got quite a bit of exercises <clears throat> to knock out this half hour workout. Give them a shot, let us know what you think, and have fun sweating it out. See you guys next time.